Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is about natural alternatives to the contraceptive pill. Because I know a lot of you are on it out there and you're probably hoping to get off it and try something natural. Because the pill is really a nasty little thing and you know, I was on it for about seven years and it stuffed up my hormones big time. So I recommend you get off it and I'm going to present some, you know, natural alternatives today. So it's estimated that 150 million women worldwide take birth control pills. That's a huge number of women and there's a lot of side effects which a pharmaceutical industry will not tell you about because it's big business for them. I mean side effects like heart attack, stroke blindness, deadly blood clots, increase of cervical and breast cancer, increase migraines, high blood pressure, gallbladder disease, benign liver tumors, decreased bone density. It's pretty sad and the synthetic hormones in the pill, they stuff with your natural hormonal level and it create a lot of these problems. So we want to get you off that as soon as possible. And the pharmaceutical company Bayer who actually make the pill, they've already paid out around 720 million in settlements. So this is something that you don't want to get involved in and if you're on it now, you want to give it up. So one thing we have to talk about, of course, is condoms. And, you know, it never actually occurred to me that a condom wouldn't be vegan. But it turns out that many companies actually process their latex condoms using casein, which is a protein derived from milk. And, you know, to be honest, I don't want that up there, if you know what I'm saying. That's pretty gross. So brands that are vegan are Durex, Avanti, Ultima Condom, several Passante brands, and Glide. So condoms, you know, 98% effective. The negatives, you know, although it's a plus that they're vegan latex, like synthetic materials such as polyurethane and polyisoprene are still used, but it still could be an option for you. So at least you know that there are vegan condoms out there. So the next one is lemon juice and or vinegar sponges. So citric acid is said to have spermicidal properties. So it's kind of like suicidal for sperm. And apparently gener for generations, women have used these soaked sponges and actually you know, inserted them in the vagina after sex and also like squirted the formula up there. And apparently it's pretty effective. Like I've got a few friends who use this method and they're like, yeah, this, this works, which is it's quite surprising for me because it is very, very natural and um, no chemicals involved there. But at the same time, it's really quite, I think it would be irritating for the delicate inners of the vagina. I don't think I would do it myself because not only that, but just the risk of it not working, I think is quite a lot higher than these other methods that I'm mentioning. So, you know, look into it. You might be interested by it. So it's worth a Google. So the next one is Queen Anne's Lace Seed Extract. So the seeds of this extract block progesterone synthesis disrupting implantation and are most effective as an emergency contraception like within eight hours of exposure to sperm sort of like a morning after form of birth control which to me is a lot better than taking the morning after pill definitely i would rather take an extract a natural flower extract and by all reports there seems to be no negative side effects and the reliability of it is really quite high so check it out so the next one is the fertility awareness method. So there's these apps that you can actually download for your iPhone and it's going to track your cycle and it's going to tell you exactly when you're fertile and when you're infertile because there's only six days out of each cycle when you know conception is possible. So you keep track of your body temperature and your cervical fluid and it just, you know, there's no guesswork involved. Everything is there in front of you so you know when you can have sex, you know, when you can abstain from sex or use some vegan condoms, whatever you like to do. So this could be a really good method for a lot of people. So check that one out. So the last one is the Lady Comp, which has been recommended by a number of my friends. They're really happy with it. And I think this is going to be, you know, if I was to use contraception, which I don't need to at the moment because I'm with Jureen Ryder, who's had a vasectomy, so I don't need to take anything. But Lady Comp would definitely be my choice. It's, you know, it's very, very simple and it's very reliable. It's something like 99% reliable or 99.3% reliable. So it recognizes if and when you are ovulating 
It can forecast your most fertile days, detects hormonal imbalances, contains an integrated pregnancy test, keeps track of all your data. So I think that's the most, you know, it's just so, it's not invasive at all. And something that I would definitely be into rather than having some chemical in my body or squirting lemon juice up there or something like that or having herbs. Highly, highly effective. Lastly, there is a book that a lot of people are into, a lot of women in the natural health movement, a lot of my friends actually like this book. It's called Taking Charge of Your Fertility. So check that one out. You can Google that. You'll probably find it on Amazon. It's meant to be really good. Banana Girl. Go through it yourself.